Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Tutorials. Today we are going to uh, start another topic uh, which is uh, related to uh, instrumentation and measurement system. In the previous video, we discussed about the basic concepts related to uh, sensors and transducers. So, in today's video, we are going to study about a basic measurement system which is used in our day to day lives for various purposes. So, today's uh, topic is general measurement system. So, before uh, going uh, deep into that, must first understand what is measurement? What is the process of measurement? Now, the basic concept behind measurement involves comparison. So, measurement generally means comparison. So, what do we compare? Basically, we compare the unknown physical quantity or parameter which we have to measure with a value which is already known to us. So, basically we compare the unknown value of the physical parameter with a known value. Now, the physical quantity it can be anything, it can be temperature, it can be pressure, it can be flow, it can be humidity, it can be velocity, it can be displacement, anything, any physical quantity. So, basically we compare the unknown value with a known value. Now, the measurement system, it facilitates this process of comparison. So, basically measurement is nothing but comparison of an unknown value with a known value. So, as to get the correct output. So, the basic objective of measurement is to obtain the correct value of the measured physical quantity. So, the basic elements of a measurement system involves a sensing element or a sensor, a signal conditioner and a display element. Now, the power supply unit provides the necessary voltage to all the elements such as the sensing element, the signal conditioner and the display element. Now, input is the physical quantity which is to be measured and the output is a representation of the input signal. So, we are going to discuss these blocks one by one in detail. So, first is the input. Now, the input to the measurement system is the physical parameter which we want to measure whose value is unknown to us and we want to measure or want to get the value exact value of that physical parameter. Now, as I said the physical parameter it can be temperature, pressure, force, flow, humidity, moisture, displacement, velocity, anything, uh, light, it can be anything. So, we have to get the correct value or the exact value of the physical parameter or quantity here that is the input. Next, we have the sensing element. The sensing element is nothing but a sensor. It basically converts the physical parameter or physical quantity under observation which we want to measure into a suitable electrical output. Now, this electrical output it can be a voltage or current signal or a change in resistance, inductance or capacitance. So, the sensing element it detects or marks the presence of a physical parameter and converts it into a suitable electrical output in terms of voltage, current, resistance change, inductance change or capacitance change. So, some of the basic uh, sensing elements or sensors which uh, are used for example, we have RTD or resistance temperature detector for measuring temperature, piezoelectric sensor for pressure sense as uh, for detection of pressure and capacitive hygrometer for measuring humidity or moisture. Then we have is the signal conditioning circuit or the signal conditioner. Now, generally the output of the sensor, it is usually very low in amplitude or the strength of the output of the sensor is very low as a result of which it cannot be connected 
with the display element or with any other processing element such as a microprocessor or a microcontroller. So it needs to be amplified. So and also sometimes it is full with noise signals, noise and distortion signals. So for that purpose filtering of the signal, the sensor output is required. So the signal conditioner generally performs these tasks, it performs amplification of the sensor output, uh, it performs filtering, it performs frequency response matching which is uh, required to adjust the bandwidth of operation, then it provides signal isolation and sometimes the output of the sensor is non-linear with respect to the input. So some linearization programs are also installed in the signal conditioner so that the output comes in a linear form. So the signal conditioner performs these tasks so that we get an output which can be interfaced easily with the display element so that it can be comprehended in a, uh, in a good way. So for some examples of signal conditioners are amplifiers or operational amplifiers, AC, DC bridges. Now the AC DC bridges are used to convert resistance, inductance and capacitance change into voltage or current signals. Amplifiers, operational amplifiers are used for amplification of signals and low, high pass or band pass and band stop filters are used for filtering of noise and distortion signals. Now these are some of the examples of signal conditioners which are used. Next, we have the display element. Now the sensor output uh, or the physical parameter which we want to measure it has to be displayed we want to know its value so in order to get the exact value of the physical parameter we need a display element now the display element it provides a visual graphical or three dimensional representation of the physical parameter under measurement so in order to visualize the physical parameter or physical signal to know how much is its value, we need a display element. Now this display element can be of various types. It can be a pointer to scale indicator with a needle pointer moving over a graduated or calibrated scale. It can be a cathode ray oscilloscope, a digital storage oscilloscope or an LCD display which gives digital output. So the display element can be of various types and it is all used to visualize the physical parameter which is under measurement. Next we have is the power supply unit. That is a regulated power supply unit which provides the necessary voltage for functioning to all the elements such as the sensing elements or the sensors, the signal conditioners and the display elements. So here we look again at the basic block diagram of a measurement system. We have the sensor which senses or detects the physical parameter or physical quantity under measurement and converts it into a suitable electrical output which can be voltage, current, change in resistance, inductance and capacitance. Then that electrical output is fed to the signal conditioner which amplifies it filters out the noise signals, performs bandwidth adjustment through frequency response matching and linearizes the output. Then it is fed to a display element which provides a visual, graphical or three dimensional representation of the physical parameter. And the power supply unit it provides the necessary voltage uh, power for functioning, for proper functioning to the sensors, signal conditioners and the display element. So this is the block diagram of uh, a general measurement system and there can be more units or elements added to it. This is just a simplified uh, simplified version uh, for better understanding. So uh, in today's video we discussed about uh, the basic functioning of a measurement system in terms of its block diagram and the individual units. So in the upcoming days I am going to post a lot of videos related to sensors, transducers and other instrumentation systems. So please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical and electronics engineering.